Welcome back to Night in the Woods with Rainbow Tastic and Samuel, guys. And, uh, we're in the library. And, gonna figure out stuff about ghosts. The library. Hey! Tall. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Oh, there's floors in up, here. Up, up, up. Yeah, this is a nice library. This isn't... This isn't the third floor. Uh, we took an elevator, so it might be. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ. Born 1966. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience, mining, construction, well drilling. <coughs> I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be, like, guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? Hmm. Hang on, I'm, I'm playing with the gain on the mics because I didn't do that beforehand. My bad, guys. I assume this is the kids section. Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. Alright. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like... You were kidnapped by a cult. And when they were, like, brainwashing you, instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic mask, that's not... Okay, yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? No. I was bored to death. It was like talking forever about being kind to others, and like, I don't know, helping an old neighbor do engine repair. That sounds... Nice. Charity Barity helps old Mr. Plunko fix his hovercraft. Ugh, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity, Pink Night Marity. Charity Barity, I just don't care. -ity. <laughs> okay, that was an interesting little little conversation. I'm trying to figure out why. Okay, so we are on the third floor. Here. I guess we'll go back to this computer. You're not on the third floor. Am I not? No. Alright then. Going up. Maybe this is the second floor. Sniff sniffs. Oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep. Ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Oh right, well that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy. Because he took someone. And he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. So, is this what I'm looking for? Alright, there she is. Cool. Okay. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? 
I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aww. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, we friends, be tweets. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumb ass is in charge. <laughs> it's like me and Ray. Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move! I'm steering. Ow! Jeez, Tiffany! I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. How do we do, how do, we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. There is an explosion. This spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the woods on the Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, approximately 11.45 a.m., a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Children are quick to inform me. Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Ghost. Okay. It's about progress. Albino groundhog. What does this one say? Oh, well, that's interesting. Firstly, rumors haunt New Historical Society. Is that just like custodial? Hair? There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Ghost spotted. Historical society? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this is, was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad? Mine? Steel mill? Something like that. An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. What about the other stuff? Maybe I have to zoom in on it correctly. So Ghost, right there. Ghost. Yeah, it says ghost right there, so why That's stupid. If this to go up here all over and over and over again, I'm gonna move this big dog. Okay, so maybe I have to press that button? Yeah. 
Ooh, look. Scotch, so I can see. Scooch. Oh. My bad. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghost or history. History that won't stay history. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Okay, okay so look I at have the to... massacre. I want to see the massacre. Click the button. Massacre. Was, was that down here? Yep. This one? Oh, okay. No ghost. Mm. Hey, look at this. Hmm. Yeah. Looks like Possum Jump. Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Oh, yeah. That's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out though. Go nuts. That's actually probably only a mile or so from Miss Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements. I know. Or corpse husbands. Co-signed. Oh well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Nah, let's look at more stuff. Okay, red fountain. Go to that one. I know it doesn't have anything. No oh. ghost here. Okay. So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well I have, you know, a job, so I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard? I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear of that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. I think you're already... Go back down. <clears throat> what is Shh. is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School jurisdict did not fund that art program at all. She made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Hmm. No, I'm not that into poetry. Public poetry performance should probably be outlawed. When have you ever seen one? School? Old roommate? 
You've never mentioned your old roommate. She's an entire story unto herself. Excuse me, are you two staying? If so, would you like to have your conversation up here? No, to both. We're not big into rhyming everything we say. Poetry doesn't have to rhyme. That is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. <laughs> well, alright then. Okay, thanks for coming. Where are they? We live here. Oh. Uh, yeah. Right. So. Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Whoa. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were afraid you were like afraid of this ghost. Like filled with dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So I mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. <coughs> Share custody of you and your ghost. <laughs> oh, wow. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is, the historical society. You know you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So, what did I get stuck with? Possum jump! Oh. Oh. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect. Oh, okay. I wouldn't. I couldn't tell if he was excited or scared. Terrified, yeah. Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. This is going to be awesome. And I'm also scared to death. I like Tiffany. Talk to Daddy. Hi, Dad. Er... Yeah, it seems like that's going around. The erg. Yeppers. So, uh, mm. you and mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. Thought you two were getting along? We are. Just a bump. You two, always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smart ass. Ness. I just hate to see you two go on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. Were they not okay before? Um, I don't know. Go see if your after you go in here. See if your dad knows. Hmm, gotta be way open the safe. Nope. nope. You got nothing to say about the safe. Did you ever, like, did that clock ever do anything? Like, <gasps> uh, yeah, I talked about the. And look at the picture, too, next time you go up here. Okay. <sighs> they got anything to say? Hey, Tiffany. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's pretty straight up to Possum Jump. Great, okay, great. We never really had a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tip set. 
Yo, I looked up the historical society society on the internet. It's really old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts it in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would actually be pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Let me know when you want to get to the cemetery. I should be going around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also, better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had to f had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Uh... Aw. Bedtime? Yes, totally bedtime. What do you want to do first? Do you get to pick? Probably the... This dream. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, that actually kind of scared me a little. Oh, this place is... Awkward. Oh, that's that kid that got kidnapped. Floating around in her dream. I mean, I guess that would... Yeah, let's go into the darkness. That would be good. That seems like a good idea. <laughs> Who's that? That's the next person to get kidnapped, I'm gonna be really upset. Okay, quick question. Uh huh. Oh, never mind. You look like a fox. There's a shadow in your. Oh, look, a birdie. So much focus. The fish still kind of scare me a little bit when they come flying out of nowhere. been this way yet, I don't think. They're a bit tiring, you know? It's like almost the same thing every time. Okay, I keep on saying more and more of it. So that's the people. Yeah.
Ah, shit. <sighs> All right then. Not even saying much. I know it's really quiet, but I'm, I'm kind of done with this. Oh. Oh, hi, statue. Hi. Okay. Did you just fell over. You know if I wobble, you just like literally wobble and then you fell down. That, um... So where are you going first? Graveyard. I check this thing every day. Neat. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Last night inspired me. For longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs. Like you, but different, huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Hey bird. Sorry I'm always rude to you. Do we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course. Of course we do. Oh, hmm. There's like something written on the inside of this book cover. Oh! Hang on, I'm gonna write this down. Alright, left. 45. Right, 100. Left, 22. Left, 90. Right, 15. Okay. Go, 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 go. Is this like... What is this? I know exactly what this is. Oh wait, ha 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 ha. I know how to open this. Oh, I didn't even have to write it down. Thanks, Granddad. Aha, it's opening. What the hell? It's an old... tooth? Yeah, that's a tooth. Granddad put a tooth in a safe in the basement. Well! Never know when you'll need an extra tooth. You and me, tooth. We're gonna go far. I'll take it. Um, okay, that was, um... 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 Something in the newspaper said something about teeth. True, you really never know when you're gonna need a tooth. Something in the Whatever, I'm glad, I'm glad we got it. Something in the old newspaper said something about a tooth. I think I remember seeing that too. Do I even want to... 
You know what? Fine. We'll talk to mom. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah. Weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Ugh. What did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was. Weird? Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Cool. Let's go to the graveyard. In the next episode, I mean. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!